Welcome to another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vincent. I'm an Army veteran. And today we're going to talk about a U.S. Army soldier pleading guilty to terrorism charges for attempting to help ISIS conduct daily ambush on U.S. troops. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can find more content from Vet Talk on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Reddit for more content. And to all veterans who would love to share your stories, a resource for veterans and non-veterans who would love to share your resource for veterans, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule a meeting. So now that we gotten that out the way, man, let's get into this thing, man. So this one is one of those hard pills to swallow because I served in the United States Army. And to find out that this is the measures that this individual took, it is crazy. It, it, I'm be honest, I really have no words for Mr. Cole Bridges for what he did. And this reminds me a lot of a situation in 2008, 2009, when the gentleman that y'all saw in the news some years, Sergeant Berliger, he walked off Fob Sharana. I was there during the time when he did that. In actual reality, the same day that he did that, we was riding to Sharana from Fob Organi to pick up our MRAPs and go to our MRAP class because they were just bringing in MRAPs to Afghanistan. And in order for you to drive them, you had to be certified to drive them. And the day that we got there, Sergeant Berliger, if I'm saying his name correctly, he walked off the FOB. And I knew some people from Fort Campbell. Um, If I'm, th- if I'm saying it correctly, I think it was um, 101 or one of those groups from there. I, I was cool with a couple of people, um, um, especially this gentleman named um, Special Chapman at the time. Um, he was a part of the crew that was searching for this gentleman who walked off the fob. And the one intel that I had from him was that they knew he was already gone because of what he had done. So to see this right here happen again, man, it kind of hit close to home because I've been through this before. It's just it's different now because I'm not a soldier, but I understand what life is like as a soldier and to have a soldier decide to make a decision like this gentleman did. That is crazy. Again, it is crazy because my thing is, man, one of the things we say in our soldiers creed, man, we are never leave a fallen comrade. And, you know, to have someone put their comrades in harm's way, that baffles me. That baffles me. That baffles me that Cole Bridges, a U.S. Army soldier who has pled guilty to attempting to provide material support to a foreign terrorist organization and attempted to murder his own comrades. That is crazy, man. That's 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 crazy, man. That That's crazy that this gentleman would would have gone through this length to do that. And so I'm going to read a little bit about, you know, this traitor Bridges and what he did. Because, again, like I said, this is crazy, man. I just, pre- I just pray that God had mercy on his soul. And, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, he finds the Lord, man, because this right here is crazy. So, you know, just to give you a little understanding of who um, Mr. Bridges is, Bridges joined the United States Army in 2019 and apparently thought it would be a good idea to start researching jihadist propaganda and expressing his support for ISIS on social media. I mean, come on, dude. Did you really think that this was going to end well? Like, that's that's one of the questions I have. But wait, it gets better. Bridges actually communicate with an FBI online covert employee posing as an ISIS supporter and providing training and guidance to ISIS fighters planning attacks. I guess he missed the memo on not talking to strangers online. I mean, this kid have to be really loony to put himself in this situation. And in addition to his brilliant idea for aiding the enemy, Bridges also provided instruction on how to attack U.S. forces and advise on fortifying an ISIS encampment. I mean, if you're going to betray your country, at least be good at it. I guess in order for him to think that he was going to join the army and do this, he was already dumb. Um, Bridges is scheduled to be sentenced in November, and I'm sure his fellow soldiers will be thrilled to hear the news. Moral of the story, don't be like Cole Bridges. Please don't be like Cole Bridges. Don't sell your battle buddies short. Don't sell them short, man. If you don't want to be in the Army, the Navy, the Marines, Coast Guard, or any of these branches, don't join them. If you have any disdain towards the military, don't join. Don't join. 
like, I don't want to be a Klan member. I don't want to be a Black Lives member. I don't want to be, you know, a racist, terrorist group member. So I, I don't join them. I don't like them. And I would say the same thing to somebody who does want to do those things. Don't join an organization that has nothing to do with what you're trying to do. Just stay away from it. Just do what you do. But understand that there's consequences for your actions. Just understand that, you know what I'm saying, somebody going to see about you if you really want to be about that life. But to betray, you know, the United States Army like this gentleman did, man, that's that's a cop out, man. And I have no remorse for people like that, man, because I know about the blood, sweat, and tears that, you know what I'm saying, I shed for that uniform. I know about the lives of people that I serve with that almost died or died in that uniform. So for somebody to disrespect us like that, man, man, just I, I pray that God have mercy on your soul. I'm not going to walk around offended by what you did because as a believer, I understand that the Bible said people will become lovers of themselves. They love pleasure more than they love God. And in this case, he becomes jihadist. So, you know, he's totally in opposition against the God of the Bible for whatever reason he has. But at the end of the day, I pray that in prison, something would change in your mind, man, that you would come to your senses, that whatever have caused you to be hurt like this to where you go out and attack people, I pray that you would deal with that. Because in the Bible, it talks about the root of bitterness, man. And it says that when a person has the root of bitterness, it says many will be defiled. And I know that deep down inside, this gentleman is bitter, man. There's some kind of bitterness in his heart that makes him, made him go out and do what he did. And I pray that he gets healed from that bitterness, that he gets delivered from that bitterness. But what he did, man, that, that, that's sad. That's sad, man. And he's going to do time for it. It is what it is. You know, you read what you sow. But I do also pray that you would find forgiveness. I pray that you would find hope in prison. I'm not going to say this is the end of the line for you. Because I've read stories and I've seen stories of people who were mass murderers and they gave their life to Christ while in prison. And I'm not the one that's going to say, man, that person is thrown out into, you know, the sea of forgetfulness and he should never be remembered. I'm not one of those people. But I am going to say something about what he did. And I hate the fact that he would have went to that length to do what he was trying to do. I mean, because, again, that's ignorant. You shouldn't go about life like that, man. And if you're the type of person that's looking at this video and you have something in your heart, some kind of odd against someone, man, forgive him. Let it go. Let whatever it is go. Let the bitterness go. Let whatever the hurt may be, let it go. Because it's not worth living your life off of what somebody did to you. Because bitterness can do two things. It can make you go out and accomplish a lot trying to prove, or it can make you become so down to the point that you are willing to destroy other people's lives. And at the end of the day, it's not worth it, man. Because at the end of the day, man, we all got to die. And if you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ and he's not your way, then I'm sorry. But hell will be your home. So this has been another episode with your boy, brother Vince for Vet Talk. As always, people, Vet Talk out.